गुड मॉर्निंग टू ऑल आई एम डॉक्टर गोपाल दत्त वर्किंग इन द स्कूल ऑफ वोकेशनल स्टडीज उत्तराखंड ओपन यूनिवर्सिटी हल्द्वानी इन दिस सेशन ऑफ एक्स एस टी एम एल वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट द एक्स एच टी एम एल डॉक टाइप इट्स डॉक्यूमेंट टाइप डेफिनेशन इन शॉर्ट इट इज कॉल्ड डी टी डी एक्स एस टी एम एल सेंट्रेटिक रूल्स एंड डिफ्रेंसिस बिटवीन एच टी एम एल एंड एक्स एस टी एम एल दीज आर द लर्निंग ऑब्जेक्टिव ऑफ दिस सेशन इन द लास्ट सेशन वी वर डिस्कसिंग अबाउट एक्स एस टी एम एल एंड इट्स यूजेस द बेनिफिट्स ऑफ एक्स एस टी एम एल एंड वी वर डिस्कसिंग अबाउट हाउ टू क्रिएट न्यू एक्स एच टी एम एल डॉक्यूमेंट द लर्निंग आउटकम ऑफ दिस सेशन आर द अंडरस्टैंडिंग ऑफ एक्स एस टी एम एल डॉक टाइप नॉलेज अबाउट डॉक्यूमेंट टाइप डेफिनेशन एंड टू नो द डिफ्रेंसिस बिटवीन एक्स एस टी एम एल एंड एच टी एम एल फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वील डिस्कस विथ एक्स एच टी एम एल डॉक टाइप इन द कंटेक्सट ऑफ वेब डेवलपमेंट डॉक टाइप इन अ शॉर्ट फॉर्म ऑफ डॉक्यूमेंट टाइप डिक्लेशन द डॉक टाइप इज अ डिक्लेशन दैट स्पेसिफाइज द वर्जन ऑफ एक्स एच टी एम एल और एक्स एम एल और एच टी एम एल बींग यूज इन अ वेब पेज डॉक्यूमेंट इट्स प्राइमरी पर्पज इज टू इंश्योर that browsers interpret and render the content according to the appropriate specifications and standards the doc type declaration is typically placed at the very beginning of a web page before the html tag starts different versions of x html and html have different doc type declarations as the syntax and features of each version can vary using the correct doc type declaration is important to ensure the consistent and accurate rendering of web pages across different web browsers and devices the recommended doc type declarations to use in a web document at the time of authoring a web document either html or xhtml web pages it is important to add doc type declaration this makes sure the document will be parsed the same way by different browsers if someone needs a doc type matching a specific version of xhtml the doc type declaration must be exact to have the desired effect the recommended doc type declaration to use in a web document are mentioned in the below given table the left side column describes the version of xhtml or html the right side column is titled doc type declaration expressed the correct doc type declaration for the such versions of html or xhtml as you are seeing the latest version in the web development nowadays html5 and beyond so you have to write the doc type declaration like this inside the tags first the sign of exclamation and write doc type space html similarly for the another set of versions like html 4.0 strict html 4.0 transitional html 4.01 frame set etc the corresponding doc type declarations are mentioned in the table you may go through the correct doc type declaration for such versions as the next uh, version of xhtml 1.0 strict 1.0 transitional and uh, xhtml 1.0 frame set 
the corresponding duct type declaration is mentioned in this table so i think uh, you have gained the correct uh, understanding from this tabular approach about the doc type declaration for different versions of html or xhtml so now we will go ahead with a new title that is document type definition in sort that is called dtd so what is document type definition this dtd is called a document type definition is a set of rules and declarations that defined the structure elements attributes and entities of an sgml family markup languages such as gml sgml html and xml document so for your better understanding the full form of such abbreviated terms is mentioned in this slide gml generalized markup languages sgml standard generalized markup languages or language html hypertext markup language you are uh, i think known with this term and xml extensible markup language the dtd are used to describe a valid structure and content for an xml document ensuring that the document adheres to a specific format a dtd is associated with an xml or sgml document by means of a document type declaration a document type definition can be declared in line means inside an xml document or as an external reference mean outside an xml document see there are two types of document type definition internal and external as discussed the internal document type definition or in a sort that is called internal dtd is defined directly within the xml document and enclosed within the doc type declaration at the beginning of the document with the help of an example we will elaborate how internal dtd looks or might work so this is the example of internal dtd document type definition so there is a you know book store we have discussed or declared here at and uh, inside the html uh, xhtml document and called in the same page so this example shows the uh, dtd defines a simple structure for a book store containing books it specifies the elements allowed and their nesting relationship and the content model of those elements so this is the example of internal dtd as well we'll discuss external dtd external document type definition is defined in a separate file and then linked to the xml document using the system keyword in the doc type declaration with the help of an example we'll explain how external document type definition work in that case you know left side box the code is mentioned there at in a external dtd and called in a another page the corresponding external dtd file named books.dtd so in the above example the xml document reference the dtd using the system keyword you have mentioned in that example the dtd content defines the same structure as shown in the internal dtd example so i think this is the example of external dtd now we will go ahead with a new title 
एक्स एच टी एम एल सिंथेटिक रूल्स द एक्स एच टी एम एल इज स्ट्रिक्टर एंड मोर एक्जिम एल कंपाइलेंट वर्जन ऑफ एच टी एम एल द एक्स एच टी एम एल फॉलोज अ सेट ऑफ सेंथेटिक रूल्स टू एंश्योर वेल फॉर्म्ड डॉक्यूमेंट्स हेयर आर सम ऑफ द की सेंथेटिक रूल्स फॉर एक्स एच टी एम एल द फर्स्ट वन इज क्लोजिंग टैग आई थिंक in the last lecture we were also shortly define some are the key rules as we are explaining here at closing tags each tag which has started must be closed as explained in this example next comments the comments are written using this you know anchor bracket as mentioned in this example see the example of comments next one is character entity reference if you want to refer any characters so you have to mention with the help of you know and sign and anchor one so see there are the example of character entity references how to give such references and the next one is required elements so this is the important rule as we all should know what are the elements those are very important and must must be available in your document such as doc type is one of the required element html head title body so in a html document such elements must be present case sensitive i already discussed the xhtml tags and attributes are case sensitive it means the lower case and upper case letters are different in xhtml all the tags and attributes are necessarily maintained the lower case letters as the example given below proper nesting is very important element must be properly nested within other elements for example if you open a div tag you must close it before closing any other parent element see there is an example we have started div tag then inside div we have started paragraph tag so the first preference the paragraph tag must be closed then the div tag will be closed so that nesting should always be maintained in this document the mentioned set of rules that xhtml document are well formed and can be parsed correctly by the web browsers and other xml processors violating such type of rules can lead to rendering issues or errors while displaying the web pages it is important to follow such syntactic rules when writing x html document to create standards or compilent and accessible content now we to know what are the differences between html and x html so there are some of the criteria to find differences the first one is xml compilers the html is designed to be compliant with xml rules making documents well formed and more machine readable it means adhering to strict nesting closing of tags and case sensitivity rules whereas html does not necessarily need to adhere to xml rules although it is often recommended to follow good coding practices for consistency and future use of documents the next criteria is case sensitivity in xhtml tags and attributes attribute names are case sensitive whereas in html they are often treated as case insensitive it means in html you are free to use either capital letters or small letters or both for writing name of tag 
or name of attributes now the next one is self closing tax in x html requires you to close all tags properly even if they are self closing for example in html you might write img tag which calls a image but in x html you should be written as image tag with the closing tag whereas in html it is not necessary the next criteria finding the difference between x html and html is error handling in x html due to its xml compilence even minor coding errors in x html can lead to rendering issues or cause the document not to display at all whereas in html browsers are often forgiving of such coding errors and documents may render despite minor issues strict syntax x html enforces a stricter syntax compared to html which helps prevent common coding errors for example all elements must be closed properly and attribute values must be enclosed in double quotation marks well formedness since x html documents must adhere to xml rules they must be well formed which means proper nesting of elements and correct structure the last one is quoting attribute values x html mandates the use of double quotes around attribute values whereas in html the attribute values can be enclosed in either single quote or double quotes so in the next lecture of this series we will discuss about functional xml the key terminologies which are used in xml and the necessary components of xml thank you